Right, Jay, come on. Trials of Cheltenham Town um, started off with some running at the uh, Athletics track, um, straight in at the deep end. How are you finding it so far? Uh, it's been good, really good. It's nice to just get get back into the swing of things and interact with some of the other boys. It's been hard work, but I'm enjoying it. You're, you're a Bristol lad, aren't you? You still live down there, so this would be presumably a good move for you geographically if you get something sorted out. Yeah, possibly. I mean, it means I wouldn't have to maybe move or anything or um, any upheaval, but that's part of football, so if I have to do that, I'm prepared to do that. But at the moment, I'm just enjoying training and, and um, getting some fitness in. Yeah, tell us a bit about your career, because you started off at City, didn't you? Yeah. And then you had a few clubs and then ended up back in Bristol. Yeah, I um, started off at City and then um, I've been about loads of places now, Preston, um, Carlisle, Charlton, and then back at Rovers for a couple of years. And here we are now. Yeah, so Rovers, what, what happened with, with uh, last season? Did John Ward just tell you that he was going in a different direction? or what? Yeah, he, was, he didn't really say a lot, to be honest. He just said, um, you know, just right at the end of the season, he, the club went off me and things, so, you know, just wished me well. So, you know, that's, that's fair enough. That's all part of football. And it's a business these days, so you just move on. Yeah, but you're, you're 28, I think, aren't you? you still yeah, feel like you've got a lot to offer at that age. You should be coming into your peak yeah. years now, should you? I couldn't tell you right now after the running, I feel a bit <laughs> old, but no, nah, no, nah, I, I feel good, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I've got a few more years in me yet. Yeah, you you played up front and wide, haven't you, in your career? But what, what what would you say is your favourite position and what sort of strengths do you think you could bring? Um, I probably prefer playing up front, really. I mean, I spent like two years at Rovers mainly playing out wide. Um, but previously, before that, I spent most of my time as a centre forward. So um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to challenge myself at playing as a centre forward again. Yeah, and you're a long way to go in trying to impress the manager here, but you got a goal in the uh, training game. On yeah. Saturday, didn't you? Which is always nice. It's always nice. Goal in anything, yeah, I'll take that. So, um, yeah, I was, I was pleased. It's a nice bit of fitness. Like I say, it's good quality in the game. And um, I think there's a game tomorrow, which, which um, hopefully I'll be involved in. Yeah, you're hoping to just show the manager what you can do in the games now and then see what you know, see if you can get something? Yeah, I mean, that's it really. Like I said, I, I mean, he's asked me just to come in training and he said there's a game tomorrow, so he told me he'd like me to be involved. So, really, I'll just take it from there. Yeah, do you know any of the lads here from before we played with any of them? Um, yeah, who's that? No, uh, Billy Jones, you know, really, um, Jamie Kiraton, I know, and uh, Stevie Ellis, my um, taxi man at the moment, taking <laughs> me from Bristol. So, yeah, and, and a few faces who I've played against before, so, um, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's a difficult time. There's a lot of footballers out of work, aren't there? A lot of footballers trying to get a club, but if you can get yourself a trial and do well somewhere, you know, you've always got a chance. Yeah, I think that's the best thing. I mean, some people sit on their hands and try and do things themselves, but. I think the best way is if you can get in somewhere, you know, because you never know what can happen. And even if something doesn't happen at the club you're at, at least you can say you know you were training somewhere and with a with a team. So um, that's like I said, I'm pleased to be here. Yeah. Have you ever been in this situation before? Where you've not been quite sure where you're going to be at this stage of a pre-season. Um, not really. I mean, I had it once. Bef I think before I went to Charlton, but um, I was injured for right at the end of the season, and I, I um, didn't sign with Carlisle in the end, but. I think now just more they want to check my fitness yeah. you know, before I sign. So this is this is new and it's a bit daunting sometimes. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to just the the running and the playing games really. Yeah. Does anything stand out about playing against Cheltenham in the past? I know you played against them a few times. Um, I remember not liking playing them at Wadham Road to be honest. Um, big pitch and stuff. And, but I think I'd like it if I was on the home team probably. So. Yeah. Always a decent. Well, it, well, it used to be a decent surface until uh, the ground share, but. Do you think you can uh, do a job in if, if Mark's looking for a wide player as well? Because even though you said you prefer playing up front, yes. there could be a, a vacancy on the left wing. Yeah, no, I mean, that's fine. I'm, like I said, I've played left, right, and centre forward all my career, so I'm quite interchangeable. So um, I don't know if there's something there for me, there's something I'll consider. Yeah, brilliant. Right. How important is it, Joe, for you to be training somewhere because obviously you're trying to sort your future out, right? but it's one of those. Are you more employable if, you, if you're with a club? I think so, yeah. I, th I think it's very important to be training with a team or, you know, of any standard, really, because, you know, training by yourself is, you know, if someone asks you what you've been doing and you just say you've been running by yourself, you know, they might not think that much of it, but if you say, you know, I've been training with this team, you know, it makes you look better and I think you improve yourself because you're in and amongst other players and it makes you push yourself a bit more. Yeah, you've got something to test yourself against, haven't you? Yeah, so you kind of know what level you're at, so and I was happy I came in, I was keeping up with... Uh, and how important is it to get some game time as well because obviously that's an opportunity that you can, you can train and you can run in that all you want to but actually playing a match is just a little bit different isn't it yeah that's the most important thing I think um, you know you can't replicate anything in training that you do in a game so it's important that we get um, minutes under our belt and um, 
you know, just really test ourselves in, in these in these preseason games. Um, and obviously, you've got to link up with players whose games you don't necessarily know. How difficult is that when obviously you're trying to impress? Um, a little bit maybe, but I think I've, I've been training here since Thursday. Uh, I've got to know players quickly. I think that comes with experience. So um, yeah, I just kind of show them the most people's games. It's just about enjoying yourself and expressing yourself really. So uh, hopefully I can do that um, tomorrow night as well. Good man. Good luck.